What's going on everybody? It's Larry Lurcy. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the patch tool in Photoshop. The patch tool to me is one of the craziest things in Photoshop that it does its job and you just have no idea how it's doing it. It's wonderful for taking out things out of images, stray things that aren't supposed to be in there that are distractions. And uh, you can even use it on portraits. You can use it on so many different things. It really is a great tool. It's not flawless. There's some problems you can run into with it and I'll kind of show you how to watch for those and how to work around them if they pop up. But overall, it's a super powerful tool. Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe and help me reach that goal of 1 billion subscribers. I'm still a little bit short of the goal, but we're working toward it. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay, so here's the first image we're gonna work with today as we play around with the patch tool. Now one thing to keep in mind with the patch tool is there's a lot of ways to do things in Photoshop. Uh, the patch tool is very similar to um, content to wear fill, uh, the healing brush, things like that where they are all in that same kind of family of tools that remove things or clean things up. And so you're going to want to know about as many of these tools as possible so that you can pick the one that works best for each particular job. Now, one thing of note within the patch tool is this patching mode. You've either got normal or content aware. And we're going to take a look at both of those. Each one kind of has its own advantages and disadvantages. The other option to pay attention to is source and destination. Basically, the easy way to remember it is source is what you use if you're trying to get rid of something. Destination is what you use if you're trying to move something. And this will make more sense as we play around a little bit in the tool. So first thing we want to do here with an image like this is let's pretend we wanted to get rid of one of these horses. First thing we've got to do is select the item that we want to remove. Now you can do this with any of the selection tools in Photoshop, but the patch tool will come with this little selection tool that's very similar to the lasso tool just automatically and I think the vast majority of the time that's going to be your best bet for making the selection. You're just going to outline it. it doesn't have to be a close selection like a mask just leave a little bit of space around it then all you're going to do is drag it over to the side find another area that looks similar to it let go hit command D or control D to get rid of that and you can see it's pretty much done a good job of patching this piece onto that piece. Now one thing you want to pay attention to as we drop back in here is as I move this around I want to try and move it to a place that the grass looks similar because it's going to take the horse out and replace it with grass. If we drag it over here for example you can see up there in the original selection that this grass is not going to look right. It's too sharp, it's too dark, and if we do it, it takes the horse out and replaces the horse with grass, but it doesn't look very realistic at all. So you want to make sure that you move to somewhere that's similar like that, and that's much better. Now it is going to create some problems, like you're going to have some clone tracks and things like that here, which you may notice if we zoom in a little bit. Uh, you start getting these repetitions. And honestly, the easiest way to fix this, I think, is to just come over with a, a different tool and use the clone stamp tool, which is S. And then you'll just hit opt, uh, Option or Alt. And we can come in and click here. Paint over that. Click here. Paint over that. And go like that until you've gotten rid of uh, some of those repetitive areas. So that's easy enough to do using those two tools, and sometimes you're going to want to use them in tandem like that. The patch tool is going to be really handy for taking out a big object, like these two horses. Again, we select them, drag over here, pretty much remove them. Like I, like I said, you're going to want to probably clean up in a lot of situations, but does a pretty good job. Now, let's put these back really quickly and take a look at doing the exact same thing but with content aware. There's a couple of differences between normal and content aware right off the bat. Normal cannot be done on an empty layer. So if you want to work non-destructively um, while you're doing normal, you're going to have to basically make a layer, do all your work on this layer, and then you've got 
the original back there behind it. So I would have this selected. I would go ahead, make my selection, drag them over. Now they're gone, but I've still got them underneath on that original layer. However, if we are working in content aware, it will let us create our own layer. So we would just hit this little plus that brings up a blank layer right there. Then we can do the same thing, but we're going to be doing it on its own layer. We'll drag it over, let go. Okay, now there's good news and there's bad news. Good news is we've done it on its own layer, just like that. The bad news is, as you can see, it's pulled over some elements we didn't want and it doesn't look very realistic. Now, I have found that the vast majority of the time, for me, normal works better than content aware. I've found that content aware, I tend to get a lot of those extra artifacts or things like that. Um, unless I'm taking away something that's on a solid background or something like that, if I'm trying to do a situation like this where I'm patching out these horses with some of this grass, it just never seems to work right. You know, we can try doing it again just for grins, try a different selection, maybe a bigger selection. Maybe try dragging down into here. Let it do its thing. Oh, see, it did that again. So I have just never had a whole lot of success with content aware. I like to keep it on normal, even though it means I can't work on a blank layer like this. And that's just something to try out. You may find the opposite. You may be trying to do this with normal mode and it's just not working right and you switch it to content aware and it works like a breeze. So if one doesn't work, I would switch to the other. But the default, at least for me, is to use normal. One other thing we can do, and we'll just do this really quickly on this image, is switch this to destination. What that will do is when, once we make our selection, then it's going to be looking to the destination as we move this over and wherever we end up here is where it's going to patch to. So we're going to take these horses, let go, and it's going to drop them in there. And you can see it's darkened them a little bit to try and it, what it was doing is trying to make the grass fit the grass around it. And as a result, it's darkened the horses a little bit too. So it's not foolproof, but um, try moving it up here where it's a little bit lighter. It's still doing it, but... Um, pretty much works that way. That's what you're doing with destination. Again, the big thing you want to look out for when you're in source mode is making sure that you're moving to an area that is similar to the area where you started. You can't drag this down into this area of grass and expect it to look right. You've got to try and find places that are very similar, or at least as similar as you can get to the area that you're trying to copy. Here's a good example here. Let's say we want to remove these horses, and this would be an ideal piece of grass to use right here. But as you can see, when I select them, even if I select them very closely, I'm not going to be able to fit in this spot here without getting into these other horses. It's not going to work. So this might be one where we try the destination mode. And so we do the opposite. We take a piece like this. Drag it across. We're not going to be able to get both of them, but we can cover one of the horses. It's all right. Got a partial that time. Make another big swatch. Drag it over. And it's not perfect. We've got some messy up here that we'd probably want to clean up, but that was a very loose selection. But as far as a quick and dirty way of taking something out of the scene, it's done a pretty good job of removing them. We just need to clean up up here at the top. So this is going to be one of those things where you're going to have to find the right tool, get a little bit of lucky with the way the computer processes your selection, and make sure you pick the right area. Let's look at a different image. These balloons right here. This is a really easy one to show off the patch tool with destination mode. Let's say that you decide you want more balloons in the sky. All you would have to do is select a balloon. doesn't even have to be a great selection drag it to where you want it, and look how it, it even made the sky match um, around because you see we had a darker sky here than here. It went ahead and lightened the whole thing so that it fits perfectly into the scene. 
Now it changed the color, which you might or might not want. In this case, I kind of like it because it makes it almost look like a different balloon. But um, all it's worried about is making it look like it's actually in the scene. You know, we can try another one here. Take this, move it around. Um, you can move it up here to a darker area, but we'll just put it right over here. There you go. It's going to match the edges to the area around it so that it fits nicely. Now I should point out that if you're using this destination mode to move things, you're only going to be able to work in normal mode. When you switch to content aware, that goes away. So it's only going to work in normal mode. As you can see, when you're in regular destination mode, you take something and move it over. Even if you move it to an area of sky that's way too light, like we're about to do here, it still does a good job of fitting it into the scene as long as you, you know, can deal with the colors changing. And that may be something that you would fix um, using a mask or going back over it and cloning in this part itself, but letting the patch tool worry about the surrounding area, which is going to be kind of the complicated part of the maneuver, in my opinion. So you can see the patch tool has a lot of different applications you can use. This is just showing you the very basics of it. It's something you can dive into and get a lot more specific on fine-tuning some of these controls. But the basics are grabbing something, moving it somewhere, and letting Photoshop decide how to fit that into the scene, or letting Photoshop decide how to remove it and what to fill it in with. And that is a quick look at the patch tool in Photoshop. As you can see, you will run into problems from time to time. It's not perfect, but to me, it's pretty amazing what it is able to do, how it's able to find out what the surrounding area looks like and draw it all in and just completely erase the object. So many times it's just a matter of click and it's gone, which is really helpful when you've got a lot of stuff to clean up in an image. If you've got any other Photoshop features or techniques you'd like to learn about, leave me a comment uh, down below and let me know and I'll try and work on a video for that topic as well. But that's all I've got for this week. Hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.